The name of the game is to make the people believe that the system is more powerful and stronger than it actually is. In order to do that, they have to sell the masses a bunch of dreams. The American dream was one of the main ones, the biggest one. Another dream was going to the moon, the idea of being able to conquer or even colonize the universe. Another dream earlier than that was this dream of manifest destiny, being empowered by God to bring the real spirituality, the real God, the real evolution of humanity to savage indigenous peoples around the world. We all know that was a lie. We all know about the moon landing. So through manifest destiny, that lie, through the moon landing and that lie, now we're into the next phase, which is this quantum realm, quantum theory, quantum mechanics, transhumanistic interpretation of human evolution into the future. And the main way that they're trying to sell that to people is to make you believe that not only can they separate your consciousness from your body and put it in their technology, but they're trying to sell to the masses of people that their technology is even capable of doing such a thing. And because people are so dumbed down and so vested in this system, they will believe anything they say. And just like the other manipulation programs, what are these systems designed to do? They're designed to get people vested into these programs. Vest your time, vest your attention, vest your work for people who work on these systems. But most importantly, vest your funding, both energetic and monetary. The funding that goes into these systems is what builds the foundation to project these programs into the future. And people fund these programs, they believe into these systems because they have been manipulated for so long, over generations, to think that not only do they have your best interests in mind, but they are capable of doing all of these things that they're selling to the people, to even entertain the idea that our consciousness can perceivably be equal to and even compatible with technology, is insane. You're telling me that this simple-minded toaster oven, never been to the moon, not going to the moon as system, has developed a technology that in many ways could be seen as not only equal to the complexities of our existence, developed by an intelligence that we can't even perceive, you're telling me that that George Bush ass technology is equal to the consciousness, to the technology of the consciousness of our experience? It's absurd. Not only that, but the ability to be compatible with our consciousness is absurd. And who is telling you that the mind is separate from the body? This is another belief that they have to sell to you in order to buy into the program of transhumanism. Of all the information I've shared about transhumanism over the years, I never really thought to step back and think to myself to share with people the absurdity to even have that thought. And what's even more ridiculous is that people are selling these fears, selling these programs to people as if they're true. No different than the perspective I shared in reference to CERN. The same way they're selling CERN is the same way they sold NASA. In fact, CERN and NASA came out at the same time. It's designed to install this idea of power. Somebody asked recently about the Roe versus Wade situation. And I really don't get involved in those specifics because it always boils down to power. And with that, they're playing with the power of God, creator beings. They have the authority to choose what happens in this reality at the most baseline form of existence, being born into this reality. If they are starting to lose their power, if they're starting to lose their grips on society, 
They will develop ways and systems to generate power and authority out of thin air. They can't create any power systems right now. So they had to go back in the day in the reserves in order to pull this synthetic power move out of the archives to get people riled up again. Riled up in a space of hopelessness, helplessness, not being able to do anything. This is what all these systems are for. It all goes down to power. CERN, NASA, transhumanism, Roe versus Wade, never addressing what's happening to the indigenous people, never giving any of the stolen artifacts back to the people around the world, never owning up to the fact of all of their lies. Keeping you in a constant state of submission keeps the system in a constant state of authority, of dominance. So we are intellectually submitted into believing these programs. We're intellectually dominated with their theories, with their smoke and mirrors. And when they're telling you these stories about transhumanism, like being able to put your consciousness, they make movies about this. This is their design. This is what they're trying to do. When they're telling you these stories, they're not only building up their power, they're tearing down the power in the basis of your existence. They're bringing you down. You're nothing more than what they can create in a computer factory. Your existence, when they tell you they can put your consciousness inside their computer, they're telling you that they are God. And even more powerful than God. Because they have the intelligence to build what God created. This goes into the nuclear program and believing they can destroy the entire universe. The power to destroy the universe, the power to manipulate consciousness into a smartphone. It's all about power. CERN generates this fear that they can open interdimensional doorways, more God power, and allow in these beings, demons, God power from another dimension that could probably take over this world or possess you and take over your body. This is all God power. Step one was to pawn off this appearance that they could break the barriers of this realm. That was selling you the illusion that they went to the moon. When that was firmly set and sold to the masses of people, they were selling you the technology that gave them the ability to break those barriers. Now that same technology, the evolution of that technology is being used to break the next barrier. The next barrier is creation itself. CERN opening the doorway. CERN is just another version of nuclear technology. The synthetic ability to destroy reality, destroy the people. Selling delusions of grandeur. These are all narcissistic moves. Keeping the people small, Maintaining their bigness, their dominance over you. This ridiculous ass technology that they're selling to the masses of people as the evolution of humanity is nowhere near, it's not even in the same realm of the complexities of our consciousness, of our reality. In comparison to our consciousness, in comparison to what this reality, the, the technology of this reality, organic technology, Western technology. It's not even a flip phone. It's two paper cups tied together with a string. This is what you're calling the evolution of humanity. They're selling you two cups, two paper cups tied together with a string. And they're telling you that is equal to the energy and the intelligence that is your existence, that is this reality. It's ridiculous. It's beyond absurd. The system really thinks that if they sell to the masses of people, even the faintest idea that they are capable of housing an entire consciousness, that makes them equivalent to God. If they can tell you that they have the ability to take your consciousness, your physical body is going to die, take whatever is holding that experience together, 
the soul energy that that is, they have the ability to manipulate souls and put it in a smartphone. That's not even just equivalent to God. You've hacked God. They're trying to convince you that they can hack this idea of God. And when you can do that, you are more powerful than God. This is the real intention behind Western technology, transhumanism, CERN, and every other Western technology system that they have and are selling to the masses of people around the world. And these are the two things to keep in mind. Not only are they selling you the potential to manipulate consciousness, but they're selling you that the technology that they're using to manipulate that consciousness is also equivalent to God. So it's not only them who came up with the idea to do something that's equivalent to God-type energy, God-type work, but the technology is also equivalent to that God-type energy. It forces you to believe that the technology path, this Western technology path, is manifesting in our reality under God's will. So when they sell you this giant American dream of transhumanism and CERN and all these other programs that are out there based on technology, not only are they selling you that they can do it, not only are they selling you that their technology can do it, but they're selling you the idea that evolution pushed by God is making this happen in our reality. Their technology, their transhumanism, it's not their will, it's God's will. God created the Big Bang. God created dinosaurs. God created monkeys. God created humans. Humans created technology. Technology can house consciousness. Humans are God. Technology is God. The relationship between humans and technology is the way we are supposed to live according to God's will. God is the one behind transhumanism. God is the one behind CERN. Get the fuck out of here. This system is intellectually and spiritually bankrupt. These motherfuckers never went to the moon, are not going to the moon, can't do any of this shit they're selling to people, but the power, the authority, the dominance that this system has over the masses of people is so strong. They don't have to actually do anything. All they have to do is sell you the trailer. They're not even producing these movies. They're making trailers for movies and having all these other people break down these trailers. They're making trailers for movies and selling it to you as if it's multiple seasons of actual reality. The only thing keeping their system afloat is the belief in the lies pushed by this system. It's that belief that continues to fund the people's self-enslavement. The belief in NASA contributes to that $65 million a day that goes into NASA. People are working for that every day. That's a lot of money. What could $65 million do to a single community? struggling a day mind you you mean to tell me that they can't find a way to take one day from nasa 65 million dollars a day and put even a third of that money towards fixing the water situation in flint and how much money is going into all this sustainable energy shit how much money is going into their illusions all of these programs exist because of the belief in this system. We believe that they have our best interests. We believe that they're benevolent. We believe that God is pushing this evolution towards technology, towards transhumanism. It's all bullshit. And this is why when people ask me, you know, why is flat earth or the fact that this is not a heliocentric universe, why is that such a, a big deal? It's because we're dealing with the foundation of this manipulation. The columns that are holding up this foundation. There aren't that many. 
It's just a matter of energy and funding money that's going into these systems. It's like if you're trying to pull a sticker off the ground or something, you got to get that little corner. Well, something like NASA not going to the moon, the heliocentric universe, that, that cosmology that's sold to us by the Western belief system, that is that little edge, that little corner. As soon as you start pulling that corner, the whole thing will come up. But right now, people are so lost in this system, they don't see a sticker on the ground. They don't see that cover up. They think it's real. So they're not even thinking to pull it up and clean it up. They're walking over it as if it's just another part of our natural experience. But once you start getting your fingernail on that little corner and start pulling it up, that's when you're going to be able to see what's really going on. And eventually, when you pull that corner up, you're going to be able to see what kind of a sticky situation we're really in. All these other programs that are stuck underneath that bullshit once you start pulling that edge up. And that's just the secondary part of it. The first part of it is actually being able to empower yourself once you remove those blinders. Once you blow out all those smoke and mirrors. Once you get all that shit up, you're able to see a more complex and a deeper form of yourself. 